So what is on your mind, my queen? <laughs> I just remembered when the Igwe in council tried to convince you to take a second wife and you insisted that you would be the first king of Umuchieze who would be loyal to one wife. Did you believe me then? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I thought you'd cave in under the pressure. But you've proven to be a man of your word. You're the wife of my youth. I will only have eyes for you until the last day here on earth. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Omo, <then. laughs> Omo. Mother. Mother. It was a when will you stop following my wife like a handbag? Father, this is urgent. Don't mind your father. He's just jealous. What is it? Mother, the gifts I asked to be selected as tribute to Adesia's father are not in order. They are whack and very unpleasant to the eyes. It was it so you cannot make selection for your father-in-law to be without the help of my wife? <laughs> father, no one does it better than my mother. Igwe, you know these things have to be done just right. Hmm? <laughs> Let me get to it. And this cup needs cleaning before your next meeting. I'll handle it. <laughs> Wait, Father, stop stressing my wife. I did not marry her for you. Father, I'll stop stressing my mother when my wife arrives. Best of time. Uh, greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings. Follow me, please. And then the tree is winding in. I will find it here. Chimo, Your Highness. Is there a procession going on I am not aware of? <laughs> no, Your Highness. Um, the new mates are getting a rotation about the palace. Greetings, Your Majesty. I expect everything to be perfectly done before my lady arrives. Yes, Your Highness. Your Majesty. Oh, mother, thank oh. God you're here. I can't... Here it is. <laughs> mother, what will I do without you? Soon, your wife will arrive. Then you become a big man. Forget all about your mother. <laughs> <laughs> mother, I love my wife. I'll respect her. Just like father respects you. But I promise you, I'll never forget your mother. <laughs> I believe you. And I am proud of the man that you have become. I'm so happy your father and I were able to set a good example for you. Mother, you and father's marriage is the envy of the whole community. I hear the tale of your love have traveled all the kingdoms I wish for same mother. <laughs> the gods will grant you your wish. Your father tells me that the truce is proceeding well. Adeze will be yours soon. I'm beyond excited, mother. And I hope that is why the elders in Kanto have summoned me. I have to go so I don't keep them waiting. Hmm. Go ahead, my son. My gallant son, the apple of my eyes, the true son of his father, who stands head and shoulders above every man in this community. 
the apple of my eyes, the true son of his father. Go and make us proud. <laughs> The golden plate is for the king, the white one is for the queen, while the silver column is for the prince. Preparation for dinner should commence immediately. Remember, my whip will not spare even the slightest mistake. Please, let me be the one to serve the prince. You want to do what? To serve the prince? No, do you need Tamunos whip to remind you that it will take you years to reach a rank where you'll be worthy to touch the crown prince's meal? No, I'm sorry. Sorry for yourself. Now you thank your chief because today is your lucky day. Thank him that you did not even touch that plate. Let's get to the kitchen. Chimo, your highness, what are you doing here? You should be sleeping. I'm so sorry to have slept carelessly, your highness. Go back to bed. I almost shot you. No, your highness. I'll go to his highness wherever he goes, sharing his punishment for this disobedience. But Chima, why does father expect me to stay indoors until after the wedding? I'm bored. I need some adventure. His Majesty the King only looks out for your best interest. You should consider how it's fair. That's right. Chima, I was going to say this to you. You know you have become more than a friend to me, than a personal guard. Thank you, Highness, but I do not deserve these commendations. All right, go ahead of me. Ensure the coast is clear. We hunt tonight and face father's consequences tomorrow. How dare you attack the palace of Umucheze? Assassin? No, not at all, valiant one. I'm a loyal servant like you. I'm a maid in this palace. A maid carrying so much weapons? I'm sorry, valiant one. It will never happen again. I only want to go hunting out of boredom. A maid servant hunting out of boredom? Who are you and what is your name? <laughs> are you laughing? You and I know you can't do anything. I can see you're shivering. I bet that gun has only shot few squirrels. <laughs> you can't even threaten a girl properly. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? You can't even be the chief guard. You're just a newbie. I'm glad to see you getting your confidence up. Hey, hey! And where do you think you're going? Hunting, like I said. Don't worry. I'll share some of my prey when I return. Why are you just returning? Did you not see her? Who? Who was it, Your Highness?
Hmm. Such audacity. But wait a second. Hunting out of boredom. Do you think my lady would like to explore such adventure with me? Your Highness, she's a princess, soon to be queen, free to do as she pleases. That's right. She has more freedom. So, Your Highness, the coast is clear, can we? Let the animals contend with a better fighter. Tonight, we obey my father. Yes, my turn to wait on the prince. He will miss his lunch if I go take a rest now. Cheta, you can't serve the prince in this state. Can't you assign someone else to do that for you? Eh? Can't you assign someone else? Gini. Eh? Gini me. Nyei biawa. Nyei wana mo a lower rank. I can't do that. Look, we can swap uniforms. Please, just help me, please. Hey, what about Tamu? No, she doesn't have to know. You just keep your head down and act natural. Just that's, so. that's deceit. I don't like deceiving people. What if we get caught? Okay, that's why I, I will manage. Yes, sorry, don't worry. Don't worry. I'll do it for you. You will? Yes, I will. Please, you do so much. Thank you. Let's go so that you lie down. dare you lay your future hands on the prince? How dare you? Forgive me, your highness. She will be well disciplined. Don't I know you? <sighs> Newbie, right? Newbie? The hunter. You are not the maiden assigned to his highness, are you? Sorry, sorry, sorry. What's your mission here? My prince, I don't have any ulterior motive. I, I just came to fill in for, for a sick friend. Forgive me, your highness, please. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Pamela. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, your highness. She's a new maiden, one of the pledged maidens that just arrived at the palace. I'm sorry. Is there a punishment for this action? Of course, Your Highness. She and her accomplice will be severely lashed and imprisoned without food if she is lying. Punish her even if she's saying the truth. Her sins could be more than you know. Yes, Your Highness. I think the lashing would be enough. I'd like to start a family. 
with the dungeon less occupied. Yes, Your Highness. You are a disgrace to a royal household. Who is your accomplice? I'm sorry. Speak! It, it, it was... It was... It was... It was who? Squire, what is it? Check that! Check that! Check that! So you want to lie? To make a fool of me? Hmm? I walk myself... I walk myself to the bones. To keep this house put together. Why are you to walk to sabotage it? Is it not? I'm so sorry. You were right. She was not even in her quarters. She was healthy. I walked myself to the bones. To keep this royal household together. Why you both work together to sabotage it? No. Is it not? <laughs> <laughs> it's not happening. It's not happening. It's not happening. It's not happening. Please, please stop following me about it. I stop. Not until I'm sure that you've forgiven me. Listen, I do not want to have anything to do with you. Everybody already sees you as my accomplice. I want that to stop. Not until I am sure you have forgiven me. The case speaks for itself. You must really think I'm naive, right? Please, just, just hear me out. What do you want to tell me? I don't want you to tell me anything. Why me? I saw how eager you were to serve the prince the very first time our paths crossed. Really? Just listen to yourself speak. Teta, for crying out loud, you make me a victim of circumstance. I feel so stupid right now. No, please don't say that. I am the stupid one. I only thought of myself. I am so sorry. Please. Please. So tell me, what did you do with the time? Because I'll be a fool to believe you just rested. I snuck out of the palace. Why? To see her. I just, I just needed to bid someone farewell. Oh. A lover. He completed his service time in the palace. I needed to do something immediately ahead. He was leaving. Ow. Oh. Well, I forgive you. Really? Yes. Thank you. See, I just <laughs> wish I can see my father. Bid him farewell for the last time. We all miss our family so much. But duty calls. Let's not get drunk with our emotions. Where? One more panese. Tell me more about this young man. <laughs> that you are <laughs> even willing to take tango slashes. You didn't bother. Okay. 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 Um, his name is Ikemba. Hey! Ikemba, okay. Ikemba, don't go. Oh, Ikemba! <laughs>
I was going to say thanks for accepting to be my wife. No, my lord. Thank you for asking for my hand. My name is Prince Iweze, but you can call me anything sweet. Father says, my Lord is my Lord. <laughs> I know. You know, we don't have to stay in separate chambers. You can move in with me. I want to get to know you better. Oh, are those too heavy for you? No, my lord. It's time for me to perform my wifely duties. Ah. Uh, <laughs> hey, you know what? That, that can wait. I'd like for us to get to know ourselves better. How about that? But Father says I will have to perform my wifely duties. I know. I'll do that for you. I did it. My love. I promise to love you. I promise to give myself to you. All of me. All of my days. I promise to cherish you. Thank you, my Lord. I promise to fulfill my duties to the kingdom and to the throne as Father taught me. I hope that includes love. Morning, my lord. I must get to work before sunrise. What type of work? Come to bed. Come to the love of your life. Oh, lord. <sighs> no, my lord. Duty calls. Besides, I do not want to smudge my makeup. Hmm. Smudge your makeup. Listen, I I respect your commitment to work, but come to me. I miss you. Come close. You have to understand, okay? Duty calls. Can't duty wait until sunrise? Listen, it's still our honeymoon. Don't forget. Ah. The people we we'll see it as a sacrifice. The early risers, the market women, they will spread the word and will receive the accolades. Hmm. Accolades? I mean, why do we have to do that when we can genuinely cater for people? I must beg for your understanding, Your Highness. Father says we must not miss any opportunity to receive praises from the people. 
That's okay. I mean, you don't have to kneel before me. All right. I totally understand. You can't proceed. Thank you, my lord. She won't accolade when she can genuinely get it. Your Highness, women are fond of ensuring that the household runs smoothly. I won't be surprised if the princess starts giving orders to the maids. Let's hope you're right. If not, where else could she be? My prince, she has occupied your heart. Chima, the truth is, I, I want to love her the right way. I actually promised to take her on a palace tour, but she keeps sleeping off on her own. My prince, I guess you found the highness. Hey, newbie! You know, it feels good to see you in your rightful place. So when are you paying off your debts? Debts? I see you have forgotten. I'll remember to share my prayer with you when I return. Please forgive me, Your Highness. Uh, my prince, Her Highness just left. <laughs> That didn't just happen. I don't understand what you mean. You don't understand what? Mm -hmm. Okay. The Prince of Umucheze just patted your cheeks and said you owed him. Spill before I scream! Spill what? Everything. What's Everything like what? Now I'll tell you later. Let's go. No, no, tell me now. I got you quite the Let's go and what? The jewelers in Ibeme are really fantastic. <laughs> Mother, father specially ordered this ones from overseas. Your father does have good eyes, you know. <laughs> Your mother and her co-wives are so lucky. <laughs> oh, <laughs> father says jewelry accentuates a woman's beauty. <laughs> no truer words have been said. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, uh, what's going on? Our marriage is barely one month, and I'm always looking for my lady. Why is that? <laughs> now you see how your father feels when you lure me away from him. <laughs> Forgive me, mother. I have to take her with me now. Uh, but we're not done sorting out the jewelry. Oh, you also said something about sorting the wardrobe. Exactly. My lady, are you avoiding me? Far from it, my lord. <sighs> Listen, father says one must tend to the royal family just as much as she tends to her lord. Not today, my lady. We're doing something fun. We're feeding the poultry together. Feed the poultry? Yes, ma'am. Have you looked at her manicured hands? 
My lord! That is better suited for the servants. <sighs> Father says a royal must not roll in dirt. <sighs> um, Mom, it was supposed to be fun. But it's okay, I'll take my leave. I'll take my leave. Mother, you understand me? The smells. <laughs> horrible! Just horrible! <laughs> terrible! In fact. That glass you broke is worth more than ten of you. Please, I, I am really, really sorry, please. I'm sorry. Sorry for your silly self. With that, replace it. You will walk double shift. To make up for your carelessness. <laughs> and you, what are you still doing here? Go back to your duty post. How dare you challenge me? Have you, have you, have you lost it? How dare you? What gave you the audacity? I didn't mean to challenge you. She has apologized. It was a mistake. Whipping her more wouldn't change anything. For your insolent behavior, you will walk her double shift. Now, get out from my presence at once. Get out! You're nothing but a little imp. Fools! Rubbish! She has really suffered in this palace. So. I've really suffered. How can that Tamno girl open her gutter mouth to tell me that a glass is better than 10 of us? Ten of us. And the worst part of it is that she'll be acting as if she's not a maid simply because she wears different clothes and goes about with weep. You're not related to the royal blood. You're just a maid like us. See, 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 see. I, I don't even care what anybody thinks if I'm new or naive. All I know is that no amount of slaps or whipping will make me to bow before that Tamuna again. It's not possible. I will not. Come. Greetings, Your Highness. I'm so sorry, Your Highness. I didn't notice you were here. I'm sorry. Newbie. Tell me, how does one feed a poultry? What? Poultry? Yes, I hear it is best suited for maids, servants. Um, Your Highness, the truth is, anyone can feed poultry. All you need to do is get the feed, spread it before them with an enticing tune. What do you mean, enticing tune? Like... <laughs> yes. Like that? Yes, Your Highness. <laughs> That's all? Yes, Your Highness. 
You sure do know how to get into a lot of trouble, don't you? I mean, it's not a pleasant sight to bleed from the lip. So I suggest you stay out of trouble. Thank you, Your Highness. I will. Know your place and stay out of trouble. Thank you, Your Highness. Thank you. Hey, I finally get to spend some time with you. Oh, yeah. my lord. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my lord. Yeah. I have to go take a shower. That can wait. We can do that later. <sighs> but my lord. Right. Father says a lady must prioritize her cleanliness. In that case, I'll join you in the shower room. Is that okay? No, my lord. I have maids for that. Maids? <laughs> Listen, I am your husband, all right? I should be given liberty to join you in the washroom whenever I please without anyone interrupting. I'm afraid my lord does not understand the ways of ladies. <laughs> the ways of ladies, you said? Hey, this is the 21st century, you know? <laughs> Wait, what's wrong? Did I say something? Hey! What did I say? Did I'm I say something wrong? I'm afraid my lord do not understand me. Oh, listen. I, 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 you probably didn't hear me right. I said, I understand you, my love. I do. And I apologize for making you feel sad. I'm sorry. Is that okay? Okay. You know what? You can go have shower. Okay? I'm not coming with you. I'll just wait for you here. Is that okay? Would you like to come hunting with me tomorrow? Hunting? Yes, hunting. I can take you around the village. And after hunting, we could visit some elderly people. How about that? My lord, I could use that time to complete some embroidery. Besides, the elderly hardly tells tales of how good others are. I see. Is it right to only visit those people who rain praises on you? Well, Father says it's a waste of time to show kindness to those who will tell no tales of them. Nothing goes for free, my lord. Don't you think the right thing to do as royalties is to serve people? Serve? My lord. 
That's why we have servants. As royalties, we rule and show kindness to those who will sing our praises. That way, our reign will last forever. My Lord. My prince, um, so do I prepare for the princess also? Sadly not. You see, I've not been able to do the things I look forward to doing with her. My prince, she will adjust. <laughs> I hope so. It seems to me like she's more interested in reciting her father's phrases. Makes me wonder if the man is king or someone who speaks proverbs. It's okay, just add the bow and arrows. Uh, my prince, uh, you know you're not good in archery. There's time for me to learn, Chima. Listen, we leave the guns today, okay? Uh, um, my prince, I am sorry. I'm not that skillful in archery. Mm, there's a maid. A maid? Yes. I is she good? Well, I presume. Just find her. Okay, what's her name? Her name is... She's new. Uh, Your Highness, there are so many maidens in this palace. So we can only differentiate them by their names. True. It's okay. Get the hunting guns. I'll take archery lessons later today. Okay, Your Highness. Do you wish to drive? You can take those out. Careful, careful. Easy, easy, easy. And you have to hurry, okay? There are more things to move out. Careful. Good. <sighs> oh. My lady, is everything okay? Why are your things being moved out? <laughs> My lord. I have decided to move into my own chamber. Without consulting me? What's your reason? <sighs> my lord. Father sent some beautiful, luxurious apparels to me. I mean, I'm talking about the Isidwaba of South Africa, the, the Kente of Ghana, the, the, the Jalabaya of Egypt. 
and I'm afraid my Lord's closet cannot accommodate them all. Oh, I see. It's a big house. We can convert one of the rooms and move all our belongings there. My Lord, I'm afraid I cannot be separated from my belongings. It is not safe. Oh. Is it best to be separated from me? My Lord, my Lord has his guards to watch over him. He even has his arms and his legs to defend himself in case of an attack. But my belongings have none of these. You're joking, right? So what do I do? Sit in my chamber and you sit in yours? Well, my Lord can always come visit when he needs to. You can even summon me to your chamber. I see. Listen, now listen good. I didn't marry you to only warm my bed and pop out children. I married you because I wanted companionship. I married you because I wanted partnership. I married you because I wanted friendship. I wanted a best friend, just like my parents. Well, my Lord, Father says a lady must. For the love of the gods, can you keep quiet? My Lord. <laughs> Oh, what a temper. <laughs> By the gods. Mate! Make sure to keep them in the safe. there mm. I'll soon be there oh. patience my lord
Now I understand what it feels like to wait for someone. Please have a seat. I'm sorry, Your Highness. It is not proper for me to sit. Maid, is there a plan to challenge my authority in this palace today? Certainly not, Your Highness. Mm. If you're given the power to choose what to become, what would that be? I would love to be one of the stars, Your Highness. Why the stars? Do you think they're free and you're not? None of us are free, Your Highness. We are either slaves to our physical masters, emotions, the people we rule, or the gods we serve. Hmm. Brilliant. So tell me, what are the stars slaves to? Time. They shine and retire before sunset. Hmm. So tell me, why become the stars despite the brevity of its glittery? It's because I can still make a change despite the limited time. I can eliminate the parts of the commons and the royals. I think I want to be a star too. Your Highness, is it because of the same reason as mine? Well, that and for the praises of men. Do we sing praises for the stars? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the wall so high, like the diamond in the sky. But you know, Your Highness, the stars do not start out seeking praises. They shine, and praises follow naturally. So you won't deliberately do things for people to praise you? It is not necessary, Your Highness. We should do things to touch lives, make impact, save humanity. What if no one recognizes this kindness? Your Highness, the God sees, and their praises and reward are far better than that of my men. Mm. Every servant I have met only talk and dream about freedom. But you sound very different. I also do dream of freedom, Your Highness. But you don't want physical freedom. You are already free. Free are the most free bonds I have met. Those words are way too kind, Your Highness. I appreciate them. Thank you so much. What is your name, maid? Amuche. Amuche. Amuche, you sound very brilliant. Thank you, Your Highness. I least expected you to be this brilliant. However, I was entertained. I should retire to my chambers. Thank you, your friend. It takes a brave heart to withstand the pressure, this pressure. Some people know how to handle difficulties more than others. Mother, I am not the type to involve third parties in my relationship. But things are becoming unbearable. Good 
Marriages don't come easy, my son. You both have to work for it. Mom, I'm trying. Mom, I am trying. What about her? What exactly has she done wrong? <sighs> Mom, she wouldn't go on any adventure with me. She doesn't spend time with me. She even moved out of my chambers. <laughs> Son, this girl is the Adesse of Ibermer. She wasn't raised for adventure. <laughs> she can't follow you into the bush or into pig pens. <laughs> Look, I'm not against you, Wese. But you need to be patient enough to understand your wife. My point exactly, Mom. What's wrong with understanding me? I mean, she woke up one morning and boom, leaves my chambers without my knowledge. But we both know it's customary for women to take separate chambers in case other wives come in. Your father and I just chose different. Mom, listen, you know me. I'm not ready to take another wife, okay? I want your type of marriage. I want even better. Then you must be patient enough to understand her. Find out what her hobbies are. Maybe you could get to spend quality time together. <laughs> Condescending to displaying beauty products, jewelries, even embroideries, huh? There lies the problem. You see her hobbies as petty. And maybe that's the same way she sees your hobbies. Perhaps you two could come to an agreement. Mom, the truth is, I really want this to work. And I'm ready to give it my best shot. <sighs> but somehow, I feel like a failure already. Oh, no. You're not a failure, my son. You will not fail. Just put in your best. And don't be afraid. I am glad to see who is passionate about something other than my wife. <laughs> Our son is becoming a man. Hitting the target two out of three times is no mean feat. I'm sure. Well, thanks. So, the princess, Adiz. You know, marriage so have a way of uh, bringing out the best in the man. <laughs> I remember the showcases you put up after our marriage to impress your father. Uh -huh. <laughs> I know. That was exactly what captivated your heart, isn't it? <laughs> my prowess on the horses and my shooting skills, huh? <laughs> he was a, he's really the true son of his father. He takes after him in everything. It is my son. <laughs> ah, what a day. A wonderful day. <laughs> Once again, 
You promised to support me, but you never saw me get one shot right. My lord, it was too sunny. I just had to go use my sunscreen. <laughs> Is that even an excuse, Adesia? You were applying your sunscreen and dishing out orders to your mate every time I shot an arrow. My lord, I had no idea will be made to sit under the scorching sun throughout the showcase. <sighs> Adeze, it is called an archery showcase. Were you expecting to watch the game through a tinted glass window? My lord, the people were watching. Whatever would they say if I appear before them with some bonds? Horrible. Horrible. Adeze, are you saying your loyalty lies with the people of Umucheze instead of me, your husband? My lord, father says a princess must. A princess must do what? You know what I think? I think your father has so much to say. Makes me wonder why you're married to me and not him. I wonder. Take your hands down now, okay? Your hands will be paining you now. Why are you acting as if you're the one serving this punishment? Go and sleep. If it were my punishment, I know definitely you would join me. So if you don't want to take your hands, then I'm going to join you. <laughs> okay, Toriba, who is deceiving this one? You must really think I love you so much. Okay? Hmm. I don't think so. I know you really do love I me. I don't love I you. I know you love me. I say. We'll save this punishment. I don't together. love you. I know you love me. Oh. Amuche. Yeah. Greetings, Your Highness. Greetings, Your Highness. Your Highness, I must commend you for your today's success. Put down your hands. Thank you, Your Highness. Amuche. Your Highness. Did that commendation come from a maid who is under my authority or an audacious archer? Your Highness, as a maid, I will rain more praises on you. As an experienced archer, I will only commend you as an excellent beginner. A beginner? Are you trying to say you're better than me? With all humility, yes, your highness, I'm more experienced and I wouldn't miss a shot. Interesting. You'll have to show me. When next are you going hunting? Me? Yes. Your highness, I don't hunt anymore. It's against the palace rules. It's a shame to let your talent go to waste, my dear. You have to come with me tomorrow. I'm sorry. I'd be attending to my duties. I'm not the maid assigned to you. Say it all. Chita, fetch me the chief maid. I need to know why I don't have a say in the maid assigned to me. Yes, Your Majesty. So what is your advice? Do I dedicate tomorrow's prey to the elders in council? If I do that, they would sure talk about my archery skills. But your highness, the elders in council already have enough in their bands. I would suggest another recipient, but they wouldn't give praises. Hmm. Who? A few widows at the outskirts of Omocheze, whose sons are too young to hunt. Amuche, you do have the people at heart. Do you know that? Would you take me there? Yes. With all pleasure, Your Highness. <laughs> hey. So, my dear, you've been specially assigned to the prince now. Just like that. I'm as surprised as you are. And I thank the gods everything happened in your presence. Huh. Oh. 
I wish I were a hunter too. Imagine having the attention of the Prince of Umuchese. Cheta, mm. but you have a man. Ha. I'm not denying that fact now. Eh, my dear, you have to be very careful. I see the way Tamono keeps her eyes on you. Ne, hapuna. That's pure jealousy. The only thing I owe myself is to do my work diligently. What have I done wrong by carrying out my work? Have I done anything wrong? You've not done anything wrong. be all right, Biko. Okay, so let me ask you. What if the prince wants you to carry out other duties? Other duties like what? Do you know what I'm talking about now? I mean, the prince is a man with blood flowing through his veins. And you're a woman. <laughs> Shh! Teta, are you okay? Please don't say that. Oh, do not instigate rumors. The war has yes. Please, my dear, because it would be illogical not to contemplate it. I mean, he looks at you with admiration and awe. And remember, he will soon be a king. And so, and so, he will have as many wives as he wants. Listen. He doesn't seem that shallow to me. He loves his wife. Mm -hmm. So you have observed him to that extent. Hey, hey, you see what I'm talking about? Please leave me alone. <laughs> no problem. My eyes on you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me retire to my room. Okay. Right, All right. Uh, so. Okay. <laughs> Greetings, Your Highness. Are you learned? Not quite. I just got basic education. You look very stiff. You're not flexible. Do you like standing? Why not sit? Hey, I'm sorry, Your Highness. I cannot sit. Please. The chief maid and others will frown at it. And I'll be punished severely. Sorry, I can't sit by your side, Your Highness. The chief maid you talk about seems to me like a terror to you. Is it just to you or to the others? Your Highness, I think she's doing her job. Would you advise her relieve her of her job? Since it's becoming uncomfortable for you and others. No. No, Your Highness, I would rather have you rearrange her about human relationships. Did you say you're not learned? But you sound too intelligent not to be. So what if I say Take some advanced lessons with me. Would you like that? Me? Yes. You can read, can't you? Yes, Your Highness, I can read and write. All right then. Read that page. Okay. Kada was released without being charged or tried or fined. He never confessed to anything because he has because he had nothing to confess. Relieved that she had made it thus far into the story. Stay confident. <laughs> I told you marriage would change him. Since that day he hasn't even complained about anything else. <laughs> He's a mature young man. I'm glad we were able to set an example for him. I'm so happy that Adeze has been such a blessing to him and to Umuchieze at large. She carries out her royal duties seamlessly. You can say that again. The Council of Elders are also commending her. <laughs> I must tell you. <laughs> ah, speak of the angel herself. <laughs> Your Majesties. <laughs> How are you doing, my dear? Wonderful, Your Majesty. You see that? And how is your husband? I hope you've been finding enough time to be with him. 
<laughs> yes, your highness. I was with him last night. <laughs> you see, we are proud of you, my dear. Thank you, your majesty. <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah, so you have to be careful because I think it's... Ah! It's cold! Oh! I'm so sorry. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Oh! I'm so sorry. Oh, so it's bleeding. Oh, shit. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Are we talking about? About, uh, what do you say, five thousand? Five thousand dollars. Dollars, yes. Is Amuche not back? Um, no, my prince. Uh, who stays in the market this long? My prince, the palace does purchase items in large quantities, and it's time consuming. And why does she have to be the one to go? And who the hell sent her to the market without my content? I'm sorry, Your Highness. Take that away. <laughs> Show somebody back, Your Highness. Why am I so uneasy? Chima, have my personal maid serve that when she returns. Okay, Your Highness. I'm sure she'll be back. And why the hell am I so uneasy? Perhaps you've grown accustomed to the mage and she excites you. Yeah, that's true. She's quite exciting. She makes me feel like I can't do anything without her. Your Highness is happy at her presence and uneasy at her absence. You're right, Chima. You've been very observant. She feels like a personal assistant. No offense to you, Chima. Your Highness only remembers her when it's with others and forgets about everyone when it's with her. That's true, Chima. I mean, um, she does have that effect on me. No lies. Your Highness forgets about everyone, including his wife, the princess. 
Of course. Hey, what are you driving at? Well, my prince, you're in love. No! In love? What do you mean I'm in love? In love with who? A maid? Are you out of your mind, Chima? Are you out of your mind? Listen, I stay faithful to the princess and to the princess alone. Chima. My prince. I don't know what you're driving at. But if you say that to me one more time, you'll have me to contend with. So, Amuche should be confined in her quarters. I don't want to set eyes on her again. I repeat, I don't want to set eyes on her again. Yes, Your Highness. Understood? Yes, Your Highness. I knew that your deceitful charm would inspire. You thought your favor with the prince would last, didn't you? I don't understand. I've not done anything wrong. Your entire existence is a crime! You insolent brat! You are to be confined in your quarters until further notice. What? Why? <laughs> you may wish to ask. But before then, you will have to pass all the guards stationed outside your door. With due respect, Tamuna, I demand to know why I'm being confined. You demand! <laughs> you demand! Now that is your problem! You, you think you are a freeborn. Who is a maid? A common maid? Ordinary maid? Who are you to make any demand? Everybody have the right to demand for an explanation when treated unjustly. Um, <laughs> the clown thinks she is an activist. Your confinement is a royal order. Dear me, and watch me exhaust the strength of my whip on your ugly looking tired face. Fool. She's to be confined and not bullied for having found favor with the prince. Excuse me? I heard you. Did you offend the prince? Of course not. See, I don't even understand what is going on, but I can't trust Tamuno. I need to speak with the prince. I don't want to get into trouble in this palace. This. She might not be one of your favorites. Keep your hands off her. 
my subordinates and my to discipline. No. Every maid belongs to the royal family. Not you. But I have the authority of the royal family to carry out my duties. Yes, I do. I believe you're wise and witty. Irrespective of the position given to you, that maid has found favor with us. Do not compromise your position out of jealousy. What? Jealousy? You may be the prince's right hand man, but I will not have you insult or belittle me. No, I will not! Keep your voice down, or others will get a wind of your jealousy. Your prestigious self would not want to hear the rumors now. Will you? <sighs> Stay the hell away from me. Stay away from me! to start to you, Your Highness. What are you doing here and how did you get it? I don't know what Stamno is rambling on about a confinement. See, let me tell you, I have knitted the scarf. You need to see it's very neat. I am getting better at my skill. In fact, let me hey. bring it. How did you leave your quarters? Your Highness, you should know a hundred guards are no match for me. Just push. <laughs> your Highness, is there any problem? Because the way you're acting, somebody would feel you are avoiding me. And why do you feel so important that you can't be avoided? Your Highness, please, I want to know. Did you order the confinement? Hmm? Put your eyes down when you speak to me. Maid. Now listen and listen good. You should know your place and obey orders around here. Leave my sight, maid. Hey, halt. This palace is premised on hierarchy, order, and structure. Double cross my guards one more time, and I'll have you whipped publicly. I didn't ask you to leave. I'm sorry. Now leave, you maid. Thank you. doing the right thing. Yes. I'm doing the right thing. I must keep to my words to honor my marriage. Not, not 
too tightly. Uh, oh, my earrings. Your earrings? Mm. Oh, father got them from the best jeweler overseas. Oh, you did? Oh, oh. yeah, you. Thank the gods, I found them. If I had lost them, I don't know what I would have done. Oh. Oh. My lord, is everything all right? Is the kingdom in trouble? Our positions threatened. Should I call father for help? My lord. Our kingdom is not threatened. <sighs> and I can take care of it myself. Yeah, you should. For all our sakes. We must maintain our image before the people. Okay? I want to believe you're fine. Of course, my lord. I'm absolutely beautiful. You need not worry about me. Oh, please, do tend to the affairs of the people. I'll take my leave. Okay. My lord. Father says, tears makes a man appear weak. I'll keep that in mind. <clears throat> oh. Yeah. Oh.
My parents, with all due respect, I don't think this is the best way to handle the situation. What do you have me do? Break my word for my wife? My parents, you're not just a freeborn, but a blue blood. You have the power to do and undo. My parents, you even have the power to marry as many wives as you choose. I have no desire for polygamy, Chima. My parents, you're so deep in love. <laughs> now, are you going to forget about your obligations to the people just because of what you're going through? And my parents, how long is this going to continue? Chima, I want you to think love as something beautiful. But right now I feel like I've been cursed by the gods. My prince, love has always been a blessing. Mm. Blessing. Blessing? Chima, so tell me, you speak like you have got a lot of experience. So, what advice can you offer me? My prince, no one can make a decision for you. I've always known you to lead and act from your heart. My prince, what does your heart desire? You want to know? Yes, my prince. Amuche. Regardless of what the royal family or what the people will say. Chima. You have to know one thing. I am willing to let go. To forfeit. To ignore the crown. For her sake. Yes. Without any regrets. I can do that. That is the answer my price. That is it. But come to think of it. What makes us think. She feels the same way. My price. You're the prince of Umuchese. No maiden will reject you. Every maiden wants to have you. So she doesn't have a choice. Mm. Chima. I do not want to command her love. I want it given freely. 
freely. Then there's only one way to find out. Mm -hmm. Chima. Have her resume her duties. That's an order. Yes, my press. Or my, my press. That's an order. Are you upset with me? I'm always happy to serve you, Your Highness. Okay, I command you to stop being formal with me. Okay? Listen. I apologize for last time. I didn't mean that. Are you still mad at me? Your Highness, I'm just an ordinary maid and I have no right to be mad at you. Excuse me, Your Highness. I command you to stop. Your Highness. I apologize. I shouldn't have treated you the way I did. You don't have to, Your Highness. Even if at all, not to a common maid like me. We both know you don't believe that. You're just upset. I have no right to be upset with you, Your Highness. I'm just a common palace maid. Please forgive me. Your Highness, please. Please, Your Highness, what if someone sees you like this? Please, they'll have me beheaded. You can't kneel for a commoner like me. Please, Your Highness. This, this is like an abomination, please. Let it be known, henceforth, I denounce royalty. I am no longer the prince of Umuchezi kingdom. I am the man who fell in love with an extraordinary woman. Please, please stand up, your highness. Please, 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 please. This will be death sentence for me, your highness. You can't do this. Amuche. I've been fighting it. I have fought it with every strength in me. But here we are. Your Highness, this will be death sentence, like I said. Does it mean you feel the same way for me? Amuche, if we are united, nothing seems impossible. I do not want to be the reason why your heart is broken. God, 
The entire Umuchese will spit on me for loving you. And if they find out I feel the same way, would they still spit at you? Would they spit at the one I love? The one I chose? The proposed irrigation plan would benefit the noble man, the common man in Umucheze. Farmers can now grow crops and have enough to supply to the people. And? And what? How does it benefit non-farmers? Good question. Non-farmers can now buy crops at a very cheap price. Impressive. <laughs> I am ready to blow their minds. What if they disagree? Disagree, you say? Who dare disagrees with the prince? I'll remind them I'm the prince of Umucheze. Yes. What have I said? I'm surprised. That's not the best approach, Your Highness. Hmm. You have to be more diplomatic. You don't lord ideas over your subjects. All right, so tell me what to do. Appear more confident and assertive. You have to convince yourself before you can convince someone else. Hmm. It starts with you. Hmm. Convince yourself before you can convince someone else. And what if they disagree? Ask for their ideas. I'm sure from there you'll get more insights. Hmm. More insight. What if they still disagree? Do I remind you that some of the elders in council can be very, very difficult? Then take a vote. I'm sure there will be more reasonable people than clowns. You see, I find you very brilliant. What would I have done without you? Your Majesty. Oh, son. What troubles you, Father? Oh, nothing. It's just a minor matters here and there. Father, a problem shared is half solved. Uh, it's just that. Uh, we have a proposal to consider. But it looks like it's a double edged sound. Hmm. Sounds harmful and beneficial at the same time. Exactly. A foreign body uh, has just sent a proposal to build the university in Umuchese. That's good news, Father. But an indigenous has also submitted a proposal for the same purpose. Hmm.
we must give priority to our kinsmen first. Exactly my thought, son. But after a careful examination on the proposal, the proposal shows that if we go by the indigent, then our people will have to pay twice what they would pay if we prefer the foreign. Do I prioritize my own kinsmen and have the people pay the price? I mean, it is honorable to hear that uh, an indigent is building a university in Omochism. But the common man may not be able to afford it, Father. Exactly. However, the reverse is the case for the foreigner. Father, this is a decision that affects everyone. I mean, they'll be happy to hear that an indigent owns a university, but happier if it's affordable. Exactly. I suggest you let them decide. Yes, Father. We must reach a consensus through the votes of the people. Let them decide, Father. Brilliant solution, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, I should have thought of that. Lest I forget, um, your proposal has been approved. Your proposal for the subsidized uh, irrigation has been approved, and the, the elders in council are so proud of you. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Sorry, Your Highness. Mm. The physician said I'll be fine. Your Highness, the fever is high. I, I wonder why you're still complaining of cold. What? That's why you have to come close to me. Your body might out my cold. No, stop, yeah. stop, stop, stop. Yeah. No, stop, stop. Yes. Oh. The King and the Majesty are their way. Oh. Your Highness, what if that was someone else? And I would have pronounced my love for you. Oh my dear! Your mother is still. We got word that the fever still hasn't abated. Mom, I'll be fine. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, man. Why is Adesa not here? Mom, she's probably attending to one royal duty or the other. I'm in good hands. Tending to you should be a top priority right now. I'm in good hands, but I'll be fine. Obim, please go ahead without me. Let me stay with him. No, 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 mom. There's no point for that. I insist. Mom, that's okay. I said I am in good hands. Obim. He has just said that he is in good hands. So let him be. Let's go. What is bothering my king? <laughs> Affairs of the state? Surprisingly not. It's about our son. He wears it. What did he do wrong? He's doing everything right. <laughs> it's marriage. This is the best decision we took for our son. 
I think I will move his coronation forward and step back as a king. Really? You're that impressed by him? Words well, are not enough to express how much I'm proud of him. He has demonstrated a distinct ability of shouldering responsibilities, and I'm proud of that. And you believe he can be trusted? Yes, I believe he will not let us down. Hmm. Then you have my support. I will speak with the council, Edus, to start the preparations. <laughs> Other maids are working. And you are here slacking. Are you here to beautify yourselves or to work? But there's no law prohibiting hairdressing in the palace. And you have no initiative to take care of all the important matters instead of gossiping. We have finished the chores assigned to us. Are you trying to lecture me on the palace laws now? I'm trying to let you know we haven't done any... Sorry. Please, it was not intentional. It was not meant for you. The wig was not meant for you. It was meant for her. Please, Your Highness, please forgive me. Please, I am so sorry. Please. Chima, Your Highness. What is the punishment for this mistake? Your Highness, imprisonment and death is the punishment for anyone who causes any harm to the royal blood. Please forgive me. It was not intentional. Have mercy upon me, please. Your Highness, please forgive her. Even though she's wicked. I want her to get a dose of her own medicine. Amuche, Your Highness. pick up the whip. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, Your Highness, it's against the rule of this kingdom for a subordinate to discipline a superior. Is that so? His Majesty will not be happy with it. Oh, I see. <laughs> yes, Your Highness, yes. Amuche. Pick up the whip and give it to Chima. Hey! Pick it up and give it to him. Your Highness. Your, your Highness, please. I am so sorry. It was not intentional, Your Highness. Chima, I'm sure you know the consequences of disobeying royal orders. Yes, Your Highness. No, do your job! Your Highness, mercy. I plead for mercy. <laughs> please, please, please! <laughs> sorry. Ow! I'd like a word with you, Father. His name? Yes, Father. The mother was in the air. Well, that's great. Oh, yeah, <laughs> uh, I thought the meeting would never end. Did you miss me that much? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Yes. I look forward to when this your meetings can be suspended for one month so I can get my husband to myself. Even one month will be enough. <laughs> ah, Prince, you're still here. You said you want to have a word with me. Sit down. Okay. Uh, Father, it is an important discussion. And I would like to make it known to everyone that I have thought about it thoroughly and I'm absolutely convinced. Father, I have decided to put away Adeze. I am no longer interested to be with her. Are you insane? This must be a joke. A sick one. So, why this sudden change of heart? Do you know what you're saying? I am beyond convinced, my king. Who is the harlot? has turned your heart against your wife. Who is she? Mother, no one turned my heart away. It is true that I love another woman, but Adeze has never been my wife. Oh. So you admit that there's another woman? I said, who is she? Son, who is the one that has stolen your heart? Would you respect my king? She's a commoner. A maid in this palace. Her name is Amuche. 
you would put away the address of Ibeme for a common maid. My enemies, they will throw parties to mock me. So, I've been commending your maturity, otherwise, you're still a child at heart. This is not how things are done. At all! Can you imagine what the men will do when they find out we, we sent their princess away to bring in a maid? Your foolish love will drive us to the brink of war! So, this marriage sealed your troops. You cannot break it. Father, there are loopholes in every law and in every truce. But I shall find my way. You lie. Adese is your wife and she will remain in this palace. I disagree with you, mother. I will not stay married to Adese. She can stay in this palace and become the minister of the people's affairs. Certainly not my wife. Your Majesty. You better not let Adese hear of this foolishness and inform her father. Can you imagine this? They have cast a spell on him. What is this foolishness? Oh, him say something. What more do you want me to say? This is not the kind of time that this kind of thing can happen. Adese has been unwell of recent, and the maids gossip that she has been missing her monthly flow. She might be pregnant. Is he, is he always aware of this? The foolish child is not aware. Then confirm for sure. Let's break the news for him. Of course, he cannot ignore the girl if she's carrying his babe. The next possible heir. Imagine the foolishness he's exhibiting. And this is the person you wanted to hand over to. This one, your father will turn in his grave. Stay off my path. I am very really sorry. I am very sorry. Please for me. You are sorry. For following all this? No, for causing you pain. Do you apologize to everyone in cause pain by obeying orders? Do you? No, boss, I... There is no part. This one shouldn't matter to you. Look ahead. There is nothing special here. You're still angry. Yes! Yes, I'm angry! Go ahead. If that will make you happy, go ahead. You can. <laughs> Listen, to me. I admire you a lot. I respect you. I respect your position in this palace. But why are you so hard on Amushi? Why? Why can't she just be like all this? She's making my work even harder. Why can't she just yield? Yes, I said just yield. That's all I'm asking. That's all. That is because she's like you. Strong, outstanding. Why do you think the prince has so much interest in her? I didn't. I didn't give the Lord Chief Pain such a hard time. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Tom. That is because she didn't see your strong will as a flaw. But instead, she saw it as an asset. A 
and that's why she chose you. I, I didn't see it that way. Come, my dear. We may be servants in this palace, but most of us have free minds like that of the birds in the air. You're one of them on the top list. Do not suppress others. I, I, I won't. I won't anymore. the filth who is confusing my son. Your Will you shut that dirty mouth of yours? Don't you dare open that cursed mouth to speak to me. You stay away from my son. You and whatever spell it is you have cast on him. Station guards outside her door. I do not want her to see the heavens above until I command otherwise. Is that clear? Yes, Your Majesty. Please. Amuche, please. I am so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. You endured floggings the last time you snuck out for a king. I guess we all have to pay the price for love. <laughs> it's okay. I'll be my room. <laughs> The royal physician is here. That's good. Send him in. Yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Are we expecting a child? Your Majesty, I I performed a thorough examination on the princess and I'm afraid the, the news is in no way pleasant. What news? Um, from the result of the test carried out, it shows that the princess has PCOS. What's that? PCOS is polycystic ovary syndrome. What does that mean? Is it a disease? You see, it is a hormonal disorder that causes enlarged ovaries. So, I'm not pregnant. But, what about my missed periods? You see, the PCOS causes all that. Women will generally experience weight gain, acne, missed period. I mean, all 
pregnancy symptoms. So when do you begin treatment? <sighs> Your Majesty, I'm sorry. Sorry, you see, the PCOS has no cure. Yes. But we can try an intensive treatment. But the likelihood of correction is slow. That means she'll keep on experiencing the symptoms. When she gets pregnant, how do we then differentiate? Your Majesty, there lies the problem. You see, one of the effects of PCOS is infertility. What? Sorry. Uh, you, you, you're joking. You, you, you're kidding, right? Princess, I am not joking. Your Majesty, everything is in there. Okay, I, I beg to take my leave, Your Majesty. I will start treatment on your command. Mother, mother, please, mother, you have to help me. You will help me, mother. I can't let this happen. Iweze will throw her out the minute he finds out about her infertility and bring in that maid. Never. Mother, mother, my lord and I have not been on the best of terms. This will raise a doubt in his heart, mother. Just stay calm. Nothing will happen. Oh, mother, 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 he will put me away. Even my father can help me then. Mother, you know, infertility is the most legitimate cause for, him, for divorce. The gods forbid. This is your home. No one is sending you away. You are here to stay. <laughs> oh, mother. <laughs> What is it? Bim, I'm all right. You can go back to sleep. Of course you're not all right. Please, can I share your worries? Or is it all about our son's uh, disposition towards this his new father? Iwese has never demanded something so vigorously before. I'm worried. I am really hoping that it's just a childish tantrum. But either ways, uh, you did the right thing to confine the maiden for now. You think so? Yes. Let's watch his reactions and um, think of, of a better lasting solution. You're right. What about uh, are there's a, a is there any good news coming from the physician? Um, the, the, the doctor said um, it's just general weakness uh, due to stress. She'll be fine. Oh, okay, uh, I'll check up on her tomorrow. But I don't just want her to feel that she's been neglected by Wesley. He wouldn't dare. It's okay. Let's go back to sleep. Uh, <sighs>
The market women sent their representative with a list of their requests for the quarter. And uh, I told Father, them that. why am I being embarrassed at the gate? I was told you gave them orders. Just what are you talking about? I've been denied access to a muche under your instruction. Sam, you do not need to be seeing a muche right now. It's not healthy. What? Father, I can't see the love of my life because you think it is unhealthy for me? Imagine being denied access to your queen. Just go about your royal duties and forget about that little girl. I will not perform my royal duties until I have access to a muche. How dare you, you wizard? Mother. Henceforth, it is unhealthy to come close to the prince for one month, Your Highness. He must be joking. A concubine? That's the only way. But will my lord agree? We will convince him. He's my son. I'll make him see reason. Without divulging my secret? Your secret is safe, my dear. Mother, will she willingly give up her child? Because I doubt if any mother would want to give up their child. Well, tradition states that children of mistresses and concubines legitimately belong to the queen. That child and everyone else will regard you as its mother. Mother, let's just get rid of her. Mother, she might just protest someday. Please, Mother, help me secure my position. And I will be eternally grateful to you. It is against our customs to shed innocent blood. Let us not incur the wrath of the gods. But, Mother, let us not also underestimate the bond between a mother and her child. Don't we fake your pregnancy? A fake pregnancy? You both will go into labor at the same time. But her child will die. Mother! I'll be doomed if her child dies. No, you will not. Because your child will live. <sighs> Mother! I can't have children. Exactly. At the end of the day, you will have a living child and she'll have nothing. Mother! You're a genius! Wonderful, Mother! Wonderful! <laughs> Mother, thank you. Thank you, Mother. You're welcome, Mother. <sighs> I always knew you were a genius. <laughs> thank you, Mother. Thank you. Thank you. A concubine? Yes, Uncle. That's the only way to curb this monster this love is about to create. No, 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 no. I don't think this is a good idea. Why not? I will not advise my son to become polygamous. Would you advise him to get a divorce instead? Let's allow him to make his own choice. 
and destroy the legacy we've built. He's a child. He's a mom. With all those foolish things he has been saying. Remember when I was coming for you? Everybody taught me to be a fool and a child when I insisted to marry only you. But that was the best decision I've ever taken so far. But I wasn't a commoner. And definitely not a maid. I'd have still married you if you were. My love, the world operates a caste system that neither you nor I can control. Even if we let him be, people will talk. They will mock him. At least that will make him happy. That is the only thing that matters. Why don't we present it before him and tell him that we are in support of him taking a concubine but never to divorce Adeze? I doubt if you will agree to that because he has always wanted to be a wife, a husband to one wife. Then is that or nothing? Have you even thought about what the king of Ipeme will do when he hears about this madness? What about it, princess? Have you told her about this? The princess. <laughs> what choice does she have? Her father has several wives and concubines. I'm sure she never dreamt that she'll be the only wife of Iweze. Honestly, I'm not in support of, you know, allowing my only son to the part of polygamy. But since we don't have much options, uh, well, so just saying this to him wouldn't be a bad idea. Thank you, Obim. It is less burdensome knowing that I'm not alone in this. Come on. It's our only son here. With due respect, my king, I will not disrespect the woman I love by letting her condescend to the level of a concubine. What he wears here? We are trying to help you, and this is the best option. Mother, you and I know how much I want to stay committed to one woman. The question is, why must I remain married to the woman I do not love? Sam. Life does not always go the way we want it. Sometimes we make sacrifices for better tomorrow. The other communities will mock us if you do not have a woman of royal birth by your side. <laughs> if I understood both of you correctly, this is about public image and not my feelings. Son, make this woman yours. According to the laws of our people, if you really want to claim the children she bears for you. And what type of lover does that make me? One who has access to her children with another woman and not her. Isn't that madness? Father, that will be over my dead body. It will be over my dead body for you to throw everything away for the sake of a maid. He will still come around if he truly loves the girl. Just release the girl from the confinement so he will resume his duties. Are we not spoiling him, Obi? What do you want us to do? Raise him afresh now that he's a grown man. The more we keep, you know, pushing against him, the more complicated it becomes. Just let him be. I'm sorry. I apologize for everything, my love. You shouldn't go through this. You're the strongest woman I know. Don't let them break you. Promise me you won't let them break us. I promise. I won't let them 
this joy what we have our love what we share I won't I promise thank you my love give me some time to sort things out okay have some faith in me will you yes I have faith in you don't hesitate to come close to me if anything happens I will I'll see you tonight. I'd like to go back to my duties. Go get some rest. I will have food sent to you. Okay? Thank you, Tamlo. But you don't have to worry yourself about me. I'll be fine. Sorry. Let me go and walk. Mother, do tell news. Have you eaten? Father says. Only a fool will eat when his house is on fire. Mother, I'll be more than a fool if I taste anything. Take it easy, Ada. I am on it. Mother, tell me. Any positive response? Has he agreed to take a concubine? He has not agreed. Neither has he rejected the idea. I am on it. Ah! Uh, faster, mother. I mean... The maids will soon start gossiping about my irregular monthly flow. I dare say you are not alone. Hmm? Just tread carefully. This is still only between you and I. I'm the royal physician. How do we get him on our side? <sighs> Mother, I'm on it. Are you planning to kill him? Hmm. Not if. He cooperates. Relax, mother. Listen. I sent word to father. I told him how gracious the royal physician has been to me. If this plan pulls through, then I'll convince father to probably pay him so he could go study overseas, perhaps, his PhD. And when he returns? He will be smart not to. Besides, there are better opportunities over there. And he will be a fool to overlook them.
I'd like to wash my hands. See to it immediately. Why not that maid over there? Or is there something special about her? I attend to her majesty immediately. Obi, why not the servant? Oh, I forgot. By the way, the princess needs more maids to attend to her. I will assign more maids to her, your majesty. Make sure that one is added to the list. Mother, the princess has enough maids. If I say the princess needs new maids. Then she needs new maids. No maid is more special than the other. <laughs> My lord. Is everything up? Ooh, what a temper. Ooh, this maid is superb. Wonderful, wonderful. I demand to know what's going on. You cannot treat the woman I love with such contempt. The woman you love is a maid. My maid. And she'll be treated as such as long as she remains in that position. Hmm. Well, I'm not ready to marry her until I am allowed to divorce a daisy. And besides, I'm not interested to take her in as a concubine. Then you put up with it. Mother, why are you doing this to me? You of all people. You will not dictate how I run my household with your childish feelings. What's, what's all this? Why are you putting our son in a quarrelsome mood? My love, you should know that I'm only doing this for his own good and for the good of everyone. How is fighting the woman he loves our own good? What if he rebels and runs off with her or something? <laughs> we both know our son is not that irresponsible. Want him to marry her and stop all this madness about divorcing Adese. But he has said he won't. <laughs> no man can watch the woman he loves being mistreated. He would do the right thing to save her from the embarrassment. You're right. He won't just stand by and watch anyone treat her like a servant. You're right. <sighs> Just, I just feel so uneasy. I really hope everything turns out right. Just give it the time. Mm -hmm. Smile. Oh. 
Your Highness. Amuche is still waiting. Can you see her to bed? Yes, Your Highness. My friends, these are all the laws and decrees of whom chase the kingdom left. Please keep wake with me tonight. You can sort out anyone you can. Okay, my prince. So, what do I search for? Grounds for breaking marriages under a truce. My prince, how much is still outside waiting? My prince. I said, Amuche is still outside waiting. I can't face her without a solution. Not after what my mother did to her. But my prince, having you by any circumstance is a solution to her. Sorry, I slept off. Who's there? Are you avoiding me? I didn't mean to avoid you. I just didn't know how to face you. I mean, it's not your fault. It is my fault. If I had given you your rightful place beside me, all of these wouldn't happen. Even my father wouldn't dare treat you like that. Well, your parents forbid that. What will the people say? No, they don't. They don't? No, they don't. They don't object to you becoming a concubine. I have no rights. I know. But I am not fine with that. I'm very positive if I can divorce a Daisy, then I can make things right. How far have you gone with that? Not too far. Try. 
Your Highness, whatever you decide on, I want you to believe when I say you are enough solution for me. You are ready to marry Amorchi, son? Yes, ma'am. Then the royal household will send a proposal to her family. Are you sure about this? What do you mean by is he sure, Obim? He said he loves her, didn't he? That's the only way out, my king. Have you discussed this with your wife? Would you respect father? I owe her days and no explanation. That's no no. What is worth doing is worth doing well. At least inform her. I will, father. But will you pass the royal decree to relieve Amuche and her family of the royal pledge? Of course. What better way is there to serve the royal household than becoming part of it? I hope this means you've given up the childish ideas of divorce. <laughs> no. No, mother. I won't stop until I break the shackles of this truce. Opim, did you see that? See that again? See what again exactly? You want him to marry the girl and that's what he's doing? What if you're talking about the divorce? <sighs> Opim, have some faith in our son. He wish he cannot get a divorce without a curse, a just curse. Of course, he knows better than to instigate a war with Ibn. But he's hell-bent on his ways. His only way is a just cause. Or is there any tangible reason of living this marriage that you know of? No, of course not. I let him live for my son. Let him enjoy his life. The young one's in love. Don't be an antagonist. <sighs> my lord. How? Oh, how could you do this to me? No, I won't allow it. <laughs> you sound very unreasonable. We both know I do not need your permission to take another wife, Adese. But what could be wrong? The people think we are a perfect couple. <laughs> the people think? You pretend our marriage was beautiful to impress people, right? Father says we're royals. We live only for the people. That's a very ridiculous thing to say. Well, I'm not here to argue about what your father said. I'm here to politely tell you I'm taking a wife. So deal with it. Oh, oh my God. Oh, I'm truly, truly sad. What a sad day for me. Have you told you? Mother! Mother, you're truly, truly the best. Has he told you? <sighs> what? How did he react? Mother, I was like... <sighs> oh, no, by the gods. <laughs> Mother, I feigned a few tears as a concerned wife should. <laughs> but Mother, I can wait. I can just wait to get this over with. Hmm. Patience, my dear. Sue. I love you so much, mother. <laughs> You're the best. You're truly the best. Genius, genius. You are looking really good. <laughs> Thank you, Papa. 
I don't know if my prince loves you so much. Uh, that's, there's no doubt about that. Yes, he does. And he takes good care of me. Oh, what do I expect from my prince? <laughs> I mean, lawyer. <laughs> Papa, huh? um, I appreciate your kindness. And thank you for giving us your blessings. We appreciate it. My prince, I'm humbled. No, it's okay. You don't have to bow before me. You're like a father to me. <laughs> Who am I not to bow before my, my prince? We shall be on our way now. Okay. Thank you. Papa, yeah, thank take you. care of yourself. I will do. Huh? Look after your prince very well. Huh? I will. He loves you very well. Ah, okay. Papa, stop. <laughs> I will. Okay. Uh, Emoche, I feel so special to have you in my life. I feel like you're a gift from the gods. And I'll do everything to be with you, to be like this for the rest of my life. I feel the same way, my prince. Call me by my name. Ibu is my love. Sometimes I ask myself, what have I done to deserve you? I don't ask myself the same question. I just pray this lasts forever, even after I've moved to my chamber. I'll never let you out of my sight. Why don't you move in with me? When you become the king, the real household will frown that you choose me to share your chambers instead of your queen. I have made you my wife. So I promise you, you're going to be my queen. And you're going to rule by my side. So stay with me. It will be extremely embarrassing to bring such matters before you wear a council. Son, do the need for. Father, I have a question. How does my bedroom affair concern the Igwe Council? It is tradition. It is common sense. You do not deny your wife her conjugal rights because you married another. Well, I'm sorry. I don't love the princess. And I have no desire to spend another night with her. You have no choice, son. Oh, no, but he does have a choice. So do we. We can make it public. I will personally petition the Igwe in council on behalf of your aggrieved wife. So, this will do your reputation, Nabu. So I advise you to reconsider. <laughs> Bikonyem, give me. <laughs> like I was saying, mm -hmm. all the mates gossip about it. Really? Huh. Do you know I won't lie to you now? She even asked me once. But she never liked me. So why is she asking you if I'm pregnant? Well, the prince is still her son. So I think she can't even wait to be a grandmother as soon as possible. <laughs> okay, maybe we should just... Let her know. Really? Of course, there's no point hiding it from her. 
Wow. If she asks again, just tell her I'm pregnant. Of course. I'm sure it will secure her heart towards you. I mean, who wouldn't love a sweet soul like you? <laughs> I'm begging. Uh -huh. You didn't even tell me the prince's response towards the good news. Really? Well... What? You haven't told him yet? Why? I haven't told him yet. But he is the father. I don't think you should deny him of such knowledge. I haven't just found a good time to do that. You know he's been sad since he was mandated to spend the night with the princess. Yeah, you're right. Did you feel sad about it? No woman will be glad or excited to know his man is spending the night with another woman. But all the same, I have to understand. Okay, so have you communicated this with him? Of course. She's still his wife. And he can't deny her of her conjugal right. You're right. But she has already lost his love and his heart. And I also feel for the prince too. Why? I mean, it's unimaginable to be forced into bed with someone you do not love while the one you love watches. I wish there's something I could do. Well, there is. What? No man will remain sad knowing that he is going to be a father. So, I think you should brighten him up with the good news. Yes. Yes, just tell me. Okay. Amuche. Did you say I'm about to become a father? Yes. We're having a child, my love. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, my love. Thank you. It's okay. What is it? What is it, my love? I don't want you to hide anything from me. You look worried. It's okay, there's nothing wrong. No, there's something wrong and I want you to talk to me about it. What's going on? What are you thinking about? What is it? Amuche. I'm just a little worried. But it's okay, you don't have to cry. I, I, I'm worried because... I don't want our child to live without acknowledging you as a mother. Is that all? Listen. You don't have to worry about that. I was worried. But I've come to the conclusion that it doesn't really matter who our child acknowledges in public as his or her mother. We will raise him or her together. And I'm sure he or she will always acknowledge, love and appreciate me when we're together. That's all that matters. Amuche. You're absolutely right. We shall raise him together. With love. With everything. With everything. Oh, stop! <laughs> Mother, how much longer? Have patience, my dear. 
Even if you announce your supposed pregnancy one month later, it won't be unusual for you both to go into labor on the same day. A month? Mother, a month is too long. Besides, my Lord might not even come to me again. There'll be no need for the prince to spend another night with you. We'll announce your pregnancy soon. Mother, how could you do this to me? How could you? What are you blabbing about? My lord, he's in love with that low life, classless wench. And so? Mother, does he wear and look like a puppet to you? How else do you think I was able to convince him to get married in such a short time? Do you think I use voodoo on him? But, but I'm his wife! He should love me! <laughs> ah, this is rich. When did you become interested in being a wife? I thought your priority was being queen. Mother, I cannot. Share my husband with a maid. Ah, the people will mock me. That maid is your only ticket to securing your position in this kingdom. Would you rather be the generous queen who shared her husband with a maid or the deposed barren princess of Umuchieze? who would rot in her father's house? Trust me, my dear. Word spreads like wildfire. Um, you're right, mother. Good. I'm glad you know. Keep your eyes on the go and get a child to secure your position. I'm grateful for all you do, Mother. Then start acting like it. And don't ever barge into my chambers again. Apologies, Her Majesty. Adeze, Mother. Why don't you tell us why you gathered us here? Mother. <laughs> Pardon me, your majesty. I have wonderful news to share. Wonderful. Really? <laughs> Please go ahead. Hmm. Well, there will soon be another addition to the royal family. <gasps> Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, congratulations! Welcome, Stanley. Thank you, Mother. Oh. Wonderful, wonderful. Congratulations, son. Double blessings, huh? <laughs> congratulations, Princess. <laughs> Thank you. Wonderful, royal, royal, royal children. Very soon our home will be filled with grandchildren. I've been begging for this. No, please calm down. Calm down. I beg of you. I'm sure that thing she's carrying is not mine! Don't say that. It's an abomination to accuse any member of the royal family of infidelity. You can't do that, my love. What if someone hears you? 
You don't understand. All my life I have been forced to be with her. The fact still remains that you performed your conjugal duties. Right. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Okay? I didn't bargain for this. Listen, calm down. Calm down. I want you to be happy. This could also be the gods working in her favor. Come to think about it. If she have her own child, she won't lay claims on mine. Yes. This could be gods doing things in her own favor. I want you to relax. Okay? You have to be happy. Father, you sent for me. Yes, sir. Uh, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. And I'm you, how is she? She's fine, Father. Good. It's no secret that the love you have for Mucha is bringing out the best in you. But you have to be mindful of your wife. Be mindful of her feelings too. Absolutely, Father. Good. Have you heard of the business summit that the Tivani Corporation is organizing? Yes, Father. It is slated to happen by the end of the month. Good. I, I want you to represent me there. I was specially invited because so much is a, is a stakeholder. But I haven't been feeling too well lately. Father, I hope it's not something serious. The Igwe you will live long that I get to hear every day is figurative, you know. You shall live long, Father. Yes, sir. Have you spoken to a doctor? Oh, the new doctor will be coming to the palace this evening. Of course, you heard that the royal physician has gone for further studies. Yes, I was told. Uh, in that case, I'll be glad to stand in for you, Father. You can get all the rest you need. May the gods of this land bless you. See? I will um, feed you back um, during the Igwe Council meeting this evening. Thank you, my king. Thank you, my king. No, but, but seriously, this is not funny. This is not funny, my love. You made a promise. My due date is near and you're leaving. Hmm? I understand. But I don't have a choice. None of the chiefs can go. <sighs> I... I feel it's inappropriate to suggest someone else when I'm chosen already. Listen, you have nothing to worry about, my lady. I have instructed everyone here to ensure that you're protected and your royalty. Nothing is going to happen to you, okay? I'll miss you. And I'll miss you too. <laughs> Stop, I'm not taking this bride. It's okay, come on. Alright, be safe. Take care of yourself. Sure. Okay. My prince. Yeah. Um, you haven't bid a majesty farewell. I know. I'll do that before I leave. Okay, my prince. Hey babe, it's time to go. Come here. Alright, baby. Mm. Baby's I know. I'll see you <laughs> later. Okay. Alright, be safe. Sure. Be good. Mm -hmm. I miss well, you. I miss you more. All right. <laughs> Take care of yourself, man. Sure. Mm -hmm. All right. Be good. Did you hear that? We are here for you, you big bellied woman. <laughs> Don't worry, the prince will come back to good news. Mm -hmm. And you better don't give us stress, so if not, eh? Huh. So because the. <laughs>
around instead of keeping vigil it's all well mother amuche has gone into labor what when how uh, mother do i also go into labor just um give it a few minutes after i've gone then go into labor as well i've already positioned nurses around hmm? oh, oh, just oh, but mother will you be here with me how do i do it uh, no just uh I have to be with Amuche first. Eh? Um, when you're in labor, I'll come back. Better pray she doesn't have a quick delivery. Just a few minutes, you said, Martha. Few minutes. Few minutes. Ooh, few minutes. Few minutes. Ooh. Okay. I'll just wait here a few minutes and I'm sure she'll be back. She'll be back. She'll be back. Relax. Ooh. What? How do I do it? Oh, Mother didn't tell me that. Okay. Hmm. Uh, uh, oh, now, what are you doing? Oh! No, no. Ada. No. Okay, I know. Your fault, my dear. Oh God! God! <laughs> Hi! Mother, what's this news? What's our child? Yes, I'm so sorry. What? My love. perfect mixture of both of us. Father says he has your nose. <laughs> and my Lord, when he's awake, his eyes are just like my mom's. Right. <laughs> and your father said, he's a bit pale, just like you, at birth. But, trust me, soon, you have some color, like mine. <sighs> he does look like the both of us. <laughs> My perfect son. My lord, are you leaving? 
I have to. What? You can't even spend some time with your son? You're running off to a concubine already? Would have stayed the night. <sighs> stayed where? And leave Amuche, who is grieving the loss of a child. Mother, is she the first woman to lose a child? I have a son. He's supposed to stay here with me and shower me with his attention, not run off to that bench. <sighs> Don't bite more than you can chew. You have the child now. Be content. Mother, my lord wanted to love me. So, tell me, why can't I have it all? <laughs> he wanted to love you. But you shoved him away. When did you start all this? All this? Have you fallen in love with him or you're just... This is just jealousy playing itself out. Look, I uh, just the baby. He's not lying right. <sighs> Mother. <sighs> oh. You can't even feign motherly love. Mother. Please, turn it down. It's late. If they are true, that a Weze would not want to ascend the throne of Umuchieze because he doesn't want you with him as queen? No. Then, what other reason could it be? My lord despises me to that extent, mother. No, he cannot love her that much. If I had known, if I had known that he was already in love with her, I wouldn't have agreed to all this. <laughs> mother, this is really embarrassing. Look at this. Listen to me. For all we know, Iwese might just be grieving the loss of his father. Besides, what are we even panicking about? You are his first wife. And by law, that means you will ascend the throne with him as queen. What if he refuses to ascend the throne? <laughs> My son cannot do that. Besides, the elders will soon start to claw at his neck. You can't leave the throne empty forever. Mother, please, let me grieve in peace. Grieve for how long? You are putting the affairs of the people of our land on hold because you want to make that woman queen? The talk is everywhere. You hardly sleep at night. Snooping from one law to the other. If within the next seven market days, you do not ascend the throne, then the elders will move a motion to remove the scepter from our family. 
they wouldn't there. Not when the Satan Queen herself moves the motion. Mother! Dare me! And watch everything your father has worked for go down the drain. Hey, come with him, come. Why is he crying? I don't know your majesty, but he won't stop crying. Where's his mother? Your majesty, she commanded me to take him away. Bring him. Let me have him. Baby! Oh! So sorry. Has he eaten? Not too long ago, your highness. Sorry. When was the last time you changed his diapers? Not too long ago, your highness. He could be having a running stomach. Let's check. How dare you lay your hands on my son? How dare you? You! Have I not warned you not to allow this woman touch my child? It's okay, you can have the child. It's okay. Sorry. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with me? Yes! Really? What is wrong with me? She is wrong with me. She is my problem. She is my problem! What is she doing with my child? Has she, has she not stolen enough from me? You stolen my husband and now you want to steal my son. Because of this, my husband will not even spend one single night with my son and I. Enough. Enough. Adeze, go to your chamber at once. I will not. Now that's an order. Excuse me. My father says, Every princess must. Amuche! Patience. 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 What is the matter with you? I'm tired, mother. I'm truly tired. Tired of what? Are you the one that gave birth to a child? The talk of how you neglect this child is all over the palace. And so it will spill out of the palace walls. Mother, you should tend to him. After all, he's your grandson and is no way related to me. What did you just say? Oh, mother, it must be the guilt. You, you, you pretend to be a grieving grandmother before Amuje. Why you were the one? who masterminded the theft of her son. You ingrate. <sighs> Mother. I am queen now. Don't forget that. One word from me and the position and seat of the queen regent will be scrapped forever alongside your relevance. You are even more foolish than I thought. A queen who does not have the favor of the king. One simple mistake is all it takes to depose and replace her. Mother. We are in this together. And if you expose me, you will be implicated. And trust me, mother, when I say my Lord will never, ever forgive you. Oh, how generous of you to think of my well-being. I know. Well, you can do that for me, Beme. 
That is, if your father does not banish you to save his reputation. What do you think you're doing, Mother? Oh! Good radiance. Oh. We are the maids. I need to get this off. I need to look good. Keta, what is it? Who's breaking your heart? Why are you crying? Muti, please forgive me. Please. Forgive you for what? What is it? <laughs> talk to me, please. You're getting me worried. Could you please talk to me? I'm so, I'm so sorry. For what? You're beginning to scare me. Could you please tell me what the problem is? Amuchi, your baby. Your baby is not dead. Your baby is alive, Amuchi. <laughs> your baby is alive. <laughs> I, I don't understand. What do you mean by that? Your baby is still alive. Cheta, what are you talking about? Queen Bridget confirmed it was still Beth. All lies, Amuche. Your baby is still alive. In fact, he is in this palace as we speak. How? When? I overheard the queen and the queen regent when they were talking about it. I think she's the one that had us still best, not you. Your baby is still alive. I. I don't know. I'm sorry. I. When? Like how? Did I hear wrongly? Her Highness' child is still alive. I had oh, gone to ask the Queen about her precisions for the feast. Then I overheard the news when I went to her chambers. I can't believe this. This must be the reason the Queen insisted that no one else must be allowed in the delivery room. Those monsters. Where? Where are you going, Your Highness? I need to confront those heartless monsters! Your Highness, no. You can't do that. Why? Why? Why can't I do that? I need to understand what exactly is going on! You can't accuse the Queen and Queen Regent of such hideous crime because of a mere word of a maid. No, you can't, Your Highness. Yes, she is right. <laughs> You don't need to tell them. If they found out that I disclosed such to you, they will have me beheaded. How could they? How? How? What have I done to deserve this? What? How could they treat me like this? How? Your Highness, all we need to do is to gather enough evidence so we can confront them. When? How long am I going to stay like this? How long am I going to keep hurting mourning whilst my child is out there on someone else's arms? How long? Patient, Your Highness. How? All we need now is maternity DNA test. Yes, that is all we need. Gone. I cried. This is okay, I mourned my child. He was there. It's okay. Your what am I supposed to say? This is okay, Your Highness. My mother deserves to be treated this way. No, 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 Ebenebe, 
Why do we have so many maidens designated to bath the baby? Why we need more hands in preparation of the banquets? Why are you all still standing there? Hurry up for the briefing at once! Her Majesty, Queen Regent will be upset if he doesn't ch shower the baby. Why do you all make it look like such a rigorous task to bath the child? Do not worry. I will do the honor. Give me the baby. Come on. Uh, uh, uh. Mm -hmm. I just need one assistance. And the rest of you, head out. And tell Shadow to fill in for me. Oh, oh, baby. Dun, 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 dun. Did you hear me? At once. Go. <laughs> You words that will never forgive me. But I can't live with this guilt. No. What kind of grandmother am I? My grandson's welfare should be my priority and nothing else. I should speak to Amuche first. I'm doing the right thing. Your Highness, the king is still in the throne. He's not back to the room. Yes, I, I, I'd like to have a word with you, please. With me? Yes. All right, my queen, you can have a seat. Oh, no, 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 please. I, I need to just, I need to just get this off my chest. Amuche, I have wronged you. I know I don't deserve to ask for your forgiveness, but I need to relieve myself of this guilt. It's eating me. The young prince, he is yours. Even stop to think how your son will feel. I'm sorry. I was, I was carried away by status. And I have wronged this royal household gravely. I want to make things right. But the odds are not in my favor. Adesa is really manipulative. So you want to blame Adesi? No, no, no. I take responsibility for my actions. But I'm going to need the royal physician, whom I dare say has shipped off to God knows where, to bear me witness that the child is yours. But the royal physician wasn't there during the delivery. Yes, I know. But he can attest to the fact that Adesa cannot conceive a child. So she wasn't even... No. No, she... She wasn't. And that's the proof we need to... The maternity DNA result will be out tomorrow. And that's the evidence I need. You knew? Yes. But don't worry. I haven't told your son yet. And I... I wouldn't want to rob you the opportunity of coming clean to your son, yourself. Could you be 
so wicked and inhumane mother. You joined hands with that witch from Ibeme to sow the sanctity of this land. You stole a child from his mother. Please forgive me, my son. I was wrong. Forgive me. Thank the gods, father is not here to see what you have become. How could you, mother? I was... I was so concerned about what people would say. Huh. I am sorry. Mother, you didn't give in to what people would say during your marriage. Why does it matter to you now? So he's doing very well. He's sleeping. <laughs> yeah. Well done, that's it. My lord, someone stole my son. Eh? Hmm? Besides, how dare you sit on my seat? My lord. Oh, no, she just arrived. What, 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 what is going on here? Listen, father will not spare anyone in this land if you try anything funny. You would like to let me educate you in something you don't know. Mm. Why you could? The king they have the right to depose any queen that has failed to bring children that will cover his lineage. Mm. Bam. What, what are you even okay. talking about? What are you talking about? I'm a Oh, <laughs> I see. Yes, the Queen Regent. I, I, I see she has deceived you all. Listen, the baby is mine. It was the Queen Regent who wanted to plot evil, and I tried to stop her. But trust me. She doesn't deserve a spot amongst you. No, horrible, horrible. Well said. I have stepped down as Queen Regent. You see? She confirms it. I will now focus on being a better mother and grandmother to Iweze, my son, and my grandchild, Amu Chesa. Lies! Lies! Baby is mine! I'm sorry you lied. You can check this. No. Made this. Young lady, let me educate you in something you don't know. Mm. You are hereby deposed because of your criminal act. Number one, you stole a young prince. Bam. Number two, you harass and assault a royal physician. Oh, two at all eh? So now we are sending you back home so that your people will pronounce judgment. You see the mm. on your head, my lord. This is conspiracy. Father will not spare my head. Please, my God, my lord. I cannot go back. Father will have my head, my lord. Lord, spare me the shame, my lord. Don't even touch me! Don't, don't even touch me! I'm still a princess. Don't touch me like that. Imagine. Horrible. As the owner of whom chase a kingdom, I have been present to you, people. Our king, Igwe Iweze, one of whom chase a kingdom. Oh, don't move. And the moon yellow, the queen. I'm with your mother. That is calling you short term. I'm with you. Cha, cha, cha. Umu chese kwenu. Cha, cha, cha. Umu chese kwenu. 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 
I invited everyone to gather because I have an important information to pass across. After reviewing some of the ancient laws of our past kings, I have decided to set free all the pledged servants. You may go home without any fear or punishment. Your Thank majesty. you, Your Majesty. In addition to that, anyone who decides voluntarily to work in the palace will be placed on monthly salaries alongside their families. And anyone who also decides to start a new family can either leave or work here on payment. Thank, thank you, Your Majesty. Majesty. Thank, you. <laughs> thank you very much. Cheta, my darling, I'm always here for you. Whatever you decide upon, I'll be here for you. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. 